What's up, Airfax? TechFrag9 here from AllPayJordaBoxBot.com. With me, I got the Nexus 7, and I'm showing you how to root your Nexus 7 16 and 8 GB model on your Mac OS X computer. So, our router is going to be plugging our phone via micro USB and plug the other side into the USB port of your actual computer. Now, on here, we're going to be entering our, our tablet into bootloader mode. Right away, I'm going to be warning you, everything on your device will be deleted. So please do not complain to me if everything was deleted on your tablet. Because everything will be deleted. Every single part of your tablet will be deleted. All your photos, music, every contact information. So please make sure you back it up before you start this process. You have been warned. Alright, here we're going to be pressing the power button and volume down. Just hold both of them down. It doesn't matter if your tablet is off or on. Just keep holding. As you can see, just keep holding until you see the green Android. Alright, they'll be on this screen now. You can see a green Android. Now, as you can see right there, it does say locked. So it says lock state locked. So first thing we're doing is unlocking the bootloader. So, as you can see right here, I have a zip file right here. Let me zoom in so you get a little better angle on that. And you're going to be downloading that zip file in the description below. So, please download, download that file right now. Extract it. As you can see that. And I'm going to be transferring that file into our downloads folder. So, everyone needs to transfer into downloads folder or it won't work correctly. So, transfer the folder into the downloads folder of your computer. Alright, it's transferred here. Now, we can just go into terminal, so we're going to be opening up terminal, enter terminal, let me just close this, and open up a new fresh terminal, alright, now we're on terminal and we're going to be typing in some commands, so first command we're going to be typing is cd downloads, enter, now we're going to have cd nexus 7 root, enter, then chmod space 755 asterisk or the little star you might notice Let's see there you go enter you'll get all those weird symbols and all that now we're typing in dot slash fastboot fastboot dash mac oem unlock so that will unlock the bootloader i haven't pressed enter yet because i want to show you what will happen on the actual tablet so i'm pressing enter and then you'll be able to see it enter and now right away you can see it says unlock bootloader you're going to be pressing power button to select yes alright and now you can see right there it says lock state locked still and it says unlocking now so it is in the process of unlocking your tablet so give this a few seconds alright it is still working alright it just finished unlocking now when you look back at the tablet, it will say unlocked, right there. So now, now your bootloader is unlocked. So now we're going to reboot our device, and like I told you, this did delete everything on your device. Let's so press the start button, and now we're going to be uh, starting our device now. So wait till that uh, device starts up, give it a few seconds, and then we're going to be transferring a zip file into our Nexus 7 tablet. So as you can see, it is starting up. Alright, it's on the start screen just like when you first bought it. Uh, you can actually set it up. You can set up the Wi-Fi on that. So I'm going to set it up and I'll be... Let me just type in the password real quick. My Wi-Fi, okay. It's connecting. I'm just going to be skipping all this. You can actually set it all up because it won't delete anything anymore. So you can actually set it up. Alright, now you'll be on this tablet. Now we're going to be transferring a zip file. So remember when we transfer that um, folder into our downloads folder, we're going to be going back into there and actually getting something. So as you can see, I got Nexus 7 root, that folder, and we'll be opening that up. In that folder, you can see that we... Let me go back to it. Alright, as you can see right here, we got CWMSU zip file. So as you can see right there, so we're going to be transferring this zip file into our tablet. 
So let me just zoom out so you get a better angle on all of this. So, since we're on a Mac, we can't actually just transfer directly. We have to use Android tr file transfer. As you can see, this is Android file transfer. It just pops up automatically when you plug in your tablet or any other Android device using a Mac. So if you don't have it, I'll have a link in the description as well to that program. So just download and install that program as well. And we're going to be transferring that zip file. So I'm going to transfer that zip file into my Nexus 7 tablet. As you can see, it's still plugged in. Alright, it's transferred. Now we can unplug it. Oh no, leave it plugged in actually. Sorry about that. Leave it plugged in. If you unplug it, just plug it back in. And we're going to be transferring our, our, entering our tablet back into bootloader mode. So press the power, bu power button and volume down like before. Just keep holding it. It doesn't matter if your tablet's on or off, just keep holding it and make sure you transfer that zip file. Power and volume down. Alright, you'll be on this screen once again like I told you before. Alright, so you can just set your phone aside. And Alright, we're going to be doing some little bit more uh, commands on our terminal. So we just open up terminal. And we're going to be doing a little bit more and we're almost done rooting our Nexus 7 device. So we're going to go back into CD downloads. Enter. Then CD Nexus 7 root folder once again. And now we're going to be typing in some commands. So we're going to do dot slash dot slash fastboot dash mac space flash recovery space recovery dash clockwork dash touch dash 6.0.0.6 dash grouper dot img and then press enter now as you can see it says sending recovery writing recovery so now it's going to be installing clockboard mod recovery onto your nexus 7 device so that is mandatory to root your phone so you can see nothing's happening different on here so this will take a few minutes all right it looks like it is complete as you can see writing recovery is okay so it's complete now and we're going to be typing in one command now dot slash fastboot dash mac clear or erase erase cache so this will clear out cache and help you get rid of all the problems so this is erasing cache and now it's done and now we're done we're going to press the volume up twice volume up twice and now you can see recovery mode press the power to go and enter into recovery mode so we're about a minute away from rooting our device Alright, it's entering into Clockwork My Recovery Mode. We're going to go to Install Zip from SD Card. Choose Zip from SD Card. And find that SU zip file that we transferred earlier. Alright, you have it right here. Clockwork Mod SU zip file. Tap on that and tap Yes. So now this is the rooting process of it, the actual rooting process. Alright, it says Install from SD Card Complete. We're going to go back. And re reboot system now. Once your phone or your tablet has finished rebooting, your tablet will be on pure rooted stock. So give us a few seconds. Might as well clean my device while it's uh, rebooting. <laughs> there you guys go, you get a nice clear view on that now. So it is booting up once again. And now it is updating, so it's upgrading Android to the rooting state, you could say. And now, your phone is fully rooted. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to install Titanium Backup and show you it's actually rooted. So I'll be right back. Okay, I just installed Titanium Backup. So let's open it up. And right away, you'll get the Super SU. As you can see, Super User Request. A lot. So click, click Grant. And now you can use root apps and all that. You can install custom ROMs and all that. So that is how you root your Galaxy ne or your Nexus 7 tablet. Hope you found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any questions or concerns, you can comment on this video. 
contact me on my Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and email me. All links on the description below. And if you found this video helpful, you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thanks for watching, guys, and thanks for all the support that you've been giving me. Hopefully, this tutorial was helpful. And if you want a written, written guide, it'll be in the link in the description below. See ya. Enjoy your nice rooted Nexus 7 tablet. Yeah.